Welcome to Microsoft Access Beginner Level 8, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is going to focus primarily on combo boxes. Combo boxes go by many different names. Some people call them drop-down boxes. Some people call them pick lists. Whatever you call them, it allows the user to select from a list of values. We'll start off by learning about value list combo boxes. This is where you type in a list of values right into the combo box that the user can pick from. Then we'll learn about table-based combo boxes, where we actually create a separate table to store our values. Table-based combo boxes lets us use the same set of data in multiple forms. We'll learn how to create a multi-column combo box, where you can see two or more columns of data when you open the box up. And you'll learn how to create a combo box to search for a record based on a field. Then we'll learn how to create list boxes, which are basically always open combo boxes. And finally, we'll learn how to adjust the tab order on your forms. This class follows Access 2010 Beginner Level 7. In Level 7, we learn how to create navigation forms, a main menu form, our customer list form, and lots more. I strongly recommend that you take Levels 1 through 7 before taking this class, Level 8. For more information on these classes, visit AccessLearningZone.com and go to the Access 2010 section. Today's class will be using Access 2010. Now, most of what I'm going to show you in today's class works fine in 2010 and 2007. If you have 2003 and before, you might have trouble following along because a lot of the stuff involving combo boxes has changed between 2003 and 2007. But everything today will be fine whether you're using 2007 or 2010. You are strongly encouraged to build the database that I build in class. However, if you're lazy like me and you want to download a copy of the database, you can find it here, accesslearningzone.com slash databases. But again, you'll get much more out of this class if you build the database yourself from scratch, starting with Lesson 1. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The expert classes are designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. Once you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You'll learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the true potential of Microsoft Access. Each series is broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. Once you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then the advanced, and finally, the developer lessons. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. 
If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn how to create a combo box based on a list of values. In lesson two, we're going to learn a better way to build combo boxes by getting the list of values from a table and creating our own form to edit that list. In lesson three, we're going to learn how to build a multi-column combo box so we can see a list of our state abbreviations and the full state names. In lesson four, we're going to learn how to control a form's tab order. In lesson five, we're going to learn how to set up list boxes. In lesson six, you're going to learn how to search for a record using a combo box.